friends and welcome back. You guys are currently propped up on a box on my dining room table. Got the messy bun, full effect, hands are covered in paint. This can only mean one thing. That's right, Dollar Tree fall DIYs have started at my house, currently taking up my entire dining room and living room space. There's just DIY happening every part of my home right now. Originally this was gonna be like one video, it has spiraled into multiple videos at this point, so I've decided to sort of split it up. And so today what we are going to be tackling is some really awesome Dollar Tree fall wreaths that you can do. Do some that were a little traditional, but then some that are also a little different than the normal standard go-to fall wreaths, if you know what I mean. You don't need to sit up on that box anymore and stare at my messy bun. Let's jump in to these Dollar Tree fall wreaths. All right, we are starting with this epic ombre rainbow leaf wreath, and I have to give 100% credit for this idea to Charlotte, who runs at Charlotte's house. I'm going to link her YouTube and her Instagram down below. She creates all sorts of amazing, colorful DIYs. You definitely need to check her out, but when I saw this DIY, it completely inspired me to not only create this wreath, but create a full Dollar Tree wreath video. So I'm starting by gathering some leaf picks and pumpkins and gourds from the Dollar Tree. I believe I ended up using nine leaf picks, and then I'm just going to cut them into single stems. I'm also gathering a um, ombre of rainbow colors for the wreath. I'm using apple barrel paint from Walmart. These are 50 cents each and they work amazing. I decided to give the leaves a quick dusting of white spray paint to make painting them a li little bit easier, but honestly you don't have to do this. It maybe saved me from having to do an extra coat. Then I just spread my leaves out to make sure I'd have about an equal amount of each color and I got to painting. This actually wasn't as horribly time consuming as I thought it was going to be. Some of the colors only took one coat and then some took a second coat. But once the leaves and pumpkins and gourds were completely painted, I laid them out on my Dollar Tree wreath form to get an idea of about how much space each color would take up. And then I used floral wire to adhere them all the way around the wreath form. And I used a hot glue gun to attach the corresponding pumpkins and gourds. And then you are done. I think this is such a fun statement wreath if you love having color. Now I know doing a rainbow isn't for everyone, so I just want to share an alternative option for this wreath. If rainbows a little too much for you. Instead of doing the rainbow ombre, you could paint the leaves in an ombre of fall colors. You could do oranges, peaches, and off whites. So stay tuned for a little later in this video. I'm actually sharing one more ombre wreath that uses that more muted color scheme. But you could totally do this wreath in that more muted color scheme if rainbow is just a little too much for you. All right, for our next wreath, we are starting with two packets of toy golf balls. They're basically like little ping pong balls. Honestly, if they had pad ping pong balls at my Dollar Tree, I probably would have used those because they didn't have any dimples, but these work just fine. I'm starting by painting them in an off-white color and letting them dry. While I wait for them to dry, I'm taking this 3D wreath form and I'm removing just one circle to use for my wreath. Once the balls are totally dry, I'm using a drill to drill holes through the balls from one side to the other and feeding them into the single wreath loop. I then took this outside and gave it one more quick dusting of an off-white spray paint just to cover up any places the paint had sort of chipped or smudged, but honestly it doesn't need to be perfect because I kind of wanted a more rustic look and I even ended up using a little peach and soft green on a dry brush to add a little dimension and texture to the balls. All right, now this is a super fun wreath base and you can decorate it tons of ways. I decided to go for sort of like a black, orange, white vibe to give you something sort of Halloween-ish in this video for the upcoming months. Obviously, you could choose to do reds and oranges if you wanna make it more fall for right now. I used the decorative mesh you can get at the Dollar Tree and created a sort of bow using some floral wire by just layering three cuts and then I added in some orange plaid ribbon. I'm also taking these Dollar Tree wooden letters and painting them black to say hello and hot gluing those into place. I think what I love about this wreath is it's just a really versatile base that you could easily swap out the bow for different seasons and keep it going all year long or you could swap out the letters to say something more seasonal if you wanted it to be really seasonally specific. I just think it's very unique and a great versatile base. Next up, I found this like woven stick wreath in my Dollar Tree craft section. I just knew I had to use it for something. So I also grabbed this little birdhouse from the craft check section. I painted it in Waverly chalk paint in the color celery. And then I attached the wreath using a hot glue and I added some floral picks all around the birdhouse. Lastly, I grabbed a little set of copper wire fairy lights from the Dollar Tree and glued the battery box to the back of the birdhouse and wrapped it around the wreath. I think that this one came out so cute. While I did use fall florals, I think that this could totally be used for many seasons. I love the light up edition too, because it's super cute. You could use it inside of a door and turn it on to have like the lights on at night. I just think it's a really whimsical and fun option. Moving 
moving right along, I got some crafter square twine and I'm going to weave this onto the wreath form, essentially wrapping over and under the wreath form rungs. So my first section I made a few mistakes I learned from, so let me save you from my mistakes. First off, if you're going over, under, over, under, when you get to the end of a section and one of the vertical pieces of the wreath form, it's still gonna poke through. So the second time I stopped going over, under when I got to the section end and I wrapped all the way around about three or four times and then went back to going over under and that helps cover that like vertical connector piece. The other thing that I smartened up on is I decided to double up my twine by the second section so weaving went twice as fast. But basically you're just gonna continue this all the way around. It took me about one and a quarter rolls of the Dollar Tree twine. Then again, this is just a really fun base so you can get super creative decorating it. But I was really feeling like the natural fibers so I decided to go for some natural fall floral picks that I got from the Dollar Tree. Then I just wanted to add a little something more to offer you guys another option but I didn't want to do like the basic standard ribbon. So I got out some poster board from the Dollar Tree and I cut it into a B for my last name initial and painted it in brown chalk paint. And then that's it. I think this is just a really great option, especially if you like or prefer or decorate in a more rustic style. Okay, next I found this gold welcome decorative piece in my Dollar Tree uh, craft section. I wanted to do something with it, so I decided to keep it sort of simple and go for something sort of boho in style, since I don't have any other boho wreaths in this video. Like I said, I really wanted to offer a big variety in style. So I went for some fall colored yarn from the Dollar Tree and I'm just looping them all the way around the bottom of the circle. You could totally do a pattern if you wanted, but I kind of liked the look of having the colors have no rhyme or reason. Then I cut the yarn at the bottom into a V shape and I decided to slightly unravel the yarn. I find that this is a really good trick if you're doing any type of wall hanging with uh, Dollar Tree yarn. It just gives a better look. The yarn alone doesn't look bad, but I feel like when you unravel it, it gives it this like really nice texture. It makes it look a little bit more luxurious and it doesn't look like $1 yarn anymore. This wreath is just super fun because like I said, it's not traditional at all and I love it if you tend to decorate in more of a boho eclectic style. It doesn't scream like I'm a fall wreath, but it definitely brings those fall vibes into your house. All right, last but not least, I got a set of mini pumpkins. You could definitely use Dollar Tree pumpkins, but I just happened to have this bag of mini pumpkins that my mom got me from the Joanne Fabric Store. So I painted them in a ombre of orange colors. And I got my inspiration for this wreath, by the way, from a post that I saw on Dollar Tree DIY. Um, on her Instagram, so I'll make sure to link that down below. Once they were all painted, I decided to make the stems gold using metallic Sharpies, and then I just hot glued them onto the wreath form. And it took a little bit of work to sort of like Tetris them on there how I wanted, but once it was done, I love how this came out so much. I just think it's so pretty. I just think it is a beautiful statement piece, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm considering making this as a full size wreath for my front door. All right, for this next wreath option, this is actually a wreath that I shared in a previous Halloween DIY video from the Dollar Tree, but I wanted to share it here just to give you guys another wreath option. I'm using Halloween colors in this video because obviously it was a Halloween video, but you could swap these out for the fall yarn colors that we just used in that boho DIY. But basically what we're going to do is take your yarn and you're gonna start by just wrapping it around your wreath form and you're essentially creating stripes going all the way around the wreath. Then I'm just creating these little felt um, roses essentially. So you're going to start by cutting your felt into a circle and then you're going to cut it all the way around basically into a spiral. And then you can sort of roll this up and it's going to create this really cute little felt flower. I used fabric glue to um, glue them closed. You could use hot glue too. And then you're just going to arrange these on the wreath. I think this is such a cute option. Like I said, easily just swap these out for fall colors and it is such a cute wreath. All right, my friends, that does it. If you recreate any of these wreaths, please share them with me on Instagram. I love seeing when you guys recreate DIYs that I share. You can just tag me in a story or in a post or whatever. I love to see them and I love to reshare them on my stories as well. Also, if this is your first time landing on my channel, hey, 
thanks for stopping by. I'm, I'm really glad that you, I'm glad you came. I hope you're glad you came. Maybe you're not, and you're like, what am I doing? If you like Dollar Tree DIYs, I would love if you subscribe before you go because there's gonna be more Dollar Tree DIYs. Fall Dollar Tree DIYs, we're probably gonna do Thanksgiving. We're definitely gonna dive deep into Christmas. I don't even wanna, I can't believe it's around the corner, but it's coming. But as always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you are having a fantastic day, and I will see you all in my next video.